So today I'd like to talk about a simple but relatively little known technique to discharge electrical buildup in the thyroid. First off, when it comes to the thyroid, I know I hear all of you telling this, your screens, but Rob, we mustn't ever treat the thyroid. And that's why we don't treat it directly. This is very, very true. There's so many things we don't do with the thyroid, but there are some things we can do when we don't touch it directly, okay? And I'm not talking about using uh, Via Chi or Chi Wave or Scala Chi for this, though those things are supposedly safe for thyroids. I'm talking about direct microcurrent here, okay? So why would you wanna do this? So part of the issue with the accelerated rollout of 5G has been that there has been a surge in people who suffer from EHS, that's electromagnetic hypersensitivity. Symptoms of EHS involve headache, fatigue, stress, uh, sleep disturbances, like a tingling on the skin, uh, burning sensations and unexplained rashes, pain and ache in muscles, as well as the manifestation of other health problems that may not have been there before. I, I have a feeling there's a strong autoimmune connection to, to people that are sensitive to electromagnetic um, fields. So people with EHS essentially have the microcurrent in their body thrown off by the disturbingly high signals from all the electronic devices and things that are out there, whether it's electric cars, um, you know, the the Wi-Fi that is everywhere you can access any way you want. Um, a lot of cars now as well have their own built-in 5G networks. They are hotspots. You have to turn that off in the settings. So there's all sorts of things all around us every day that are bombarding us time after time again. And as these energies pour into the body, it's like the cells in our body absorb them. They take them and they're drinking them up. And they're filling the bursting with different electrical signals than they usually used to. Different ones much stronger than what the body's microcurrent systems would use. And then we wonder why, we shouldn't wonder why, the cells are imbalanced. Why the microcurrent system isn't working. Why people aren't healing. And there are a few areas in the body that hold these electrical signals more than others. I'm not saying that it's it's strictly this. But most people that have EHS will have issues with their thyroid. None, no, no area in the body is as bad as the thyroid at holding this in. And you've got to think, part of the problem for, with this is that we can't really discharge it. We, we can't do any treatments over the thyroid area when we are dealing with microcurrent because it, it may throw it off. The thyroid is super, super sensitive. It's easily thrown into high or low or hyper or hypo. Um, status as a result of this electrical imbalance. People that have thyroid problems will often also experience these electrical sensitivities. However, there is a microcurrent treatment for that, and it is very, very simple to do. So without further ado, you're going to get your device, and I'm looking for a Y probe with a wire. Here we go. So you're going to take your device, doesn't matter which device you have, okay? Um, but in this case, I'm going to use my pinnacle device. You're going to turn it on and you're going to set the device to a mode that is capable of dosing and zeroing. So there's a preference here of 60 hertz. So assess 60 hertz in the Pinnacle, relax assess in the Pro Sport 3, and 60 hertz in the um, Evolution. If you're using the Genesis, your best bet is 77 hertz. So you're going to adjust the power to a comfortable level paraspinally. So this is next to the spine. So place the electrode next to the spine on your back and hold that plus button down until you can feel it, okay? Once you can feel a gentle tingle, then you're good to go. You need to find the C7. Now, C7 is one of the joints, right, in your spine. And what you're going to be looking for is you're going to be looking for that vertebrae. And to do so, what I tend to do is get people to bend over. If you bend your neck over down to your chin, you find that prominent one sitting right there on the back. That's where you want to be. Put the electrode there and wait until you get a successful dose. So this is marked either by the blue light coming on with a Genesis or an Evolution or the D appearing on the screen with the Pinnacle or the Pro Sport. As soon as you get this dose, you are done. You can take the electrode off. There's my dose. 
So that's all it takes. What this treatment is essentially doing is it is making the brain connect to that area and normalize it. We are trying to get a memory of a healthy, normal um, vertebrae, what goes on, what energy signals are normal, and trigger it. So we're kind of dropping the hammer on it. It will discharge that buildup in the thyroid. Now, the thyroid and C7 are connected, right? So you are essentially being able to treat the thyroid without uh, directly treating the thyroid. So for that specific treatment, that's it. It really helps to build, to release that buildup. And if people are feeling constantly bombarded by EMFs, I recommend you do this once um, weekly. So take care, and I will see you next week for another Monday 10-minute training.